Welcome back team. You're gaming with the Colonel and this is War Plan. And we are playing Mr. Greg Guilman in an allied playthrough, all the while having somebody behind us mowing the lawn or doing a weed eater or something, so I apologize for that. Uh, Greg was a little upset when I invaded Norway because, well, I asked him, hey, how do you invade Norway, right? You know, because I figured he was going to do it. Then I did it <laughs> after he told me how. In any case, I don't know that I would have done that considering now Spain, Sweden, and Portugal have shifted closer to the axis. So I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what that's looking like. Um, also, there's a new small core that just formed for the Germans for free. Uh, so that basically I gave him, what, 60 or 80 production points for that. So I'm not sure if I would have done that had I known these things. Again, it's my first run through. Uh, looks like we're going to have to uh, see what has no supply and so forth. Okay, so I'm in Norway. It has surrendered. And uh, he put a German there. Is that a German unit? Full strength? In Norway? He's got to be out of supply. <clears throat> he has got to be out of supply. There's no way that he's in supply. Um, did he just land there? Couldn't have been there before, right? He's an eight strength unit. How do you get in there? And he is on the... He's on the hex, so... Let's see, if I attack that, it's one to three. We can't do that. He must be in supply. All right, well then, it looks like we're going to have to bring over some guys. Um, oh, there looks like there's somebody there, too. That's not right. Okay, so let's take this guy and ship him across. Disembark him. Okay, that's good. Nobody there. Do the same for him. Bring down the uh, the headquarters. Okay. Hopefully this guy will survive. Whatever little uh, thing he's he's got going on there. Um. Go ahead and get in here. So he brought units over in an attempt to attack. All right, well, we can't have that. We're going to have to go destroy him. There's just no way around that. One, two, three, four, five. We're kind of short on that, but that's okay. Let's bring another unit over. Got plenty of guys. Let's make this our proxy war up here. What do you guys think? Okay, hold on. Before we do that, what's the supply like? Yeah, we can supply there. That's fine. Um... Didn't want to go there. I kind of wanted to go there, but that's only a five. That's a nine. Hopefully he doesn't kill it. <clears throat> I don't know how that guy ended up in there. And in the marsh, too. We'll have to see about that. Uh, so you are going to have to take his place. There we go. We're happy to sit here for now. Would like to bring a plane over, though. Can't do it from here. I'd have to embark him. He, however, could probably get there. Uh, 
Let's find out. Sure. We can bomb him next time. Okay, if he wants a proxy war over here, he'll have it. All right, so that's an interesting turn of events, I got to say. And we're just going to have to move the headquarters next time. We're a little bit closer. Get him into the game. Uh, we are kind of leaving Birmingham empty. I don't know if I like that. Let's rail him over. Put him here. Okay, so got that going for us. Let's see here. Unit is out of supply. Well, and I guess we need to head on home. That's the Ark Royal and the Canadian Corps. Might even leave you on there. Although, no, probably not. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and disembark the Canadian Corps. There we go. Canadians are together. We've got three three Canadian units plus a headquarters there. Port Supply Interdiction. That's going to be down there again. And Partisan Activity. Okay, good. We like that. There's going to be more Partisans coming up over here, so I'm going to need to bring guys over, right? So let's first take this guy and detach a unit. No valid hexes to split off of. Huh. Okay. Then let's um, embark you and bring you to Narvik. Now, I really don't want to do that, but I guess that'll be okay. I'll bring you to here and take you out, and then I can split you here maybe. There we go. So one of these guys will head up this way to Narvik, and the other guy will stay there. I'll need one more to go here. Zero operation point due to partial land movement. Okay. Edinburgh can go. Of course, I'm leaving all my hexes open here, so that's a problem. Who can I split out? Nobody, really. If he wants to land in Scapa Flow, that would be dangerous. I don't want that. I'd rather have him land here where I can at least defend with my troops in England and push him back out. Let's put him up there. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. This guy can bust out. A small dude. And then I can rail you to Edinburgh. There we go. That worked out okay. All right. So you're going to have to die. I wonder if, no, that's a large core. I wonder if that's a free core that he had. Okay, down over here. We do want to attack, but goodness gracious. Um, the supply down there is terrible, so I'd rather defend at the moment. As long as I have to brook, I'm a happy camper, right? All right, Soviets, it's still snowing. I kind of want to defend this river instead of just letting them go through it. However, Uh, 
uh, he's really going to be coming here. He's really going to be coming there. That's where all his planes are down here. And this is These are his two main avenues of approach. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get more units up here. Let's see, what can I deploy? Ah, oh, good, a destroyer group. Let's deploy that. Um, in Glasgow. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Get some uh, troopers, some airborne troopers, which are going to be awesome. They're going to be used to jump in behind the enemy. Put you there for now. And the rifle corps. I really wanted to get up here, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, we're going to put over here in Leningrad. Anything else? Nope. All right, so let's move this destroyer out. He is way out here. Right, let's move the destroyer out here. Let's take the Courageous and this destroyer. Put him right next to him. The other guy we're going to send home. Just because we're going to need some... Uh... There's one way over there. He can't last long. He can't. Send you here? Did I not send you home? Ugh. Ugh, undo. Alright. Send you home. You, how far can you reach? You're like way over here. You know what? We're just going to send you home. Is that a port? I don't think so. I'll send you here. The worst fight. I'll just leave in port for now. Actually, we'll bring him around the other side. These guys here can hang for at least one more turn. But I'm in, so there's really no reason. Unless he's going to try to shore bombard. I could just... Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait till I blow him out of there. He can't have any any supply. He can't. It's just nothing doing there. Oh, that is the Freiwilligen Corps Norwegen. Okay, that is a... That's the one that, that popped up that he said that he got free. So that's a Norwegian, probably full strength, full of supply kind of thing. All right, let me take a look at the diplomacy panel on Spain. It's 56% Axis now. Portugal, 15. I think there was one more. Sweden, 50. Axis. Okay. It's good to know. Next time, I'm not going to do that. Although, taking out Sweden would be wonderful if I got enough units over there. Um... I don't know what Sweden has, but being able to get into these ports would be great. Okay, so Skagerrak got mined. Still get out, though. All right, so that's fine. Okay, so it's really starting to get interesting, and I shouldn't have attacked Norway. Um, let's see here, combat log. Reports, message. I haven't been doing what? I missed the message. Um, we didn't invade 
Norway. I should not have. Now you have a unit and a bunch of diplomacy victories. Victories! Okay, so I think we're mostly done here. Next turn, he's going to push the Narvik. Or I'm just going to take him and move him to Narvik, and this guy will stay here. I'll need one more over here eventually. And the Brits are doing fine down here, although I'm not going to attack. All right, I'm waiting the onslaught here. I'm hoping these guys have zone of control. God, I really could use more guys here. What is this, April? Yeah, he's going to be attacking next turn in May. So moving around too much right now is probably not a good idea. I want to stay entrenched, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit the go button. Oh, before we do that, though, let's see what the build process is. we got lots of money here, although we're going to need some. Um, oh, let's check for subordinate commanders. This guy here is good. This guy here is still a subordinate commander. This guy here is good. Conef. This guy is good. This guy needs one, for sure, before we swap out the guy in Leningrad. So what are we going to give you? We have 10 command points, so not much. Excuse me. Well, Timoshenko costs 11. I can wait a turn. And so do these guys. They're all the same dudes, really. So I will wait one more turn for 11 command points before I flip him out. Maybe I'll get lucky. The real question is, is do I attack over here? Pretty sure I could hurt him. Pretty sure I could hurt him. There's three, four to move in, one attack, one to move back, or maybe I can't even move back. We have entrenchments, so I don't want to leave them. But he doesn't have a lot here. So I've got five really good units, plus air. Then I want to kill this guy. Then I want to put Epe Kepe's core here as the anti-tank guy. That would give up... Ugh, it's killing me. It's killing me. Do I do it? I don't think I'll have the opportunity to move back if I do. Gotta, gotta hurt the Italians though, right? Let's move in. Okay, they're small guys. Okay, so that's good. Let's bring up the uh, the big guns here. He's in full. He can go ahead and airstrike, but if I this right here right now is already five to one, so let's take it. Bam! Retreats. Okay, he's retreated. So now this guy is a one-to-one. -one. If I move him here. Oh, there's his anti-tank. That's not good. That's only a two-to-one. The 
that gets much less interesting uh, two to one. So let's um, see if we can airstrike him and see what happens. But this anti-tank unit could really hurt me. Awesome. Yeah, there, that one. Will it give me, is it enough for a three to one? It is not. So, uh, do we stand? We're still covering everybody. Could move back. Let's see, let's check the combat log real quick. Um, attacker losses were zero. He lost three. But now we got this tough unit sitting right there. I almost feel like I want to back up. But I can't get everybody back. Well, I guess I can. Problem is I'm no longer entrenched. But I'm happy for him to come out of his entrenchment. So let's back it up. Let's back it up and let him come out of his entrenchment. We hit him, and now we retreated, and we're good with that. Let's recover some, uh, some stuff. Okay, so now let's build. Let's build, first of all, some supply trucks. Got to do one each turn. Get that effectiveness. Keep that effectiveness up there. We got a stockpile of a lot, so I think another armored core is in. Got to got to build those KV ones, right? And those uh, and those T thirty fours. Heavy armor. Forty one, four thirty two. Purchase it for November. It'll be just in time for winter attacks. All right. Got no points to be used there. The Anzac Corps got no points to be used there. The Anzac Corps can chill. Okay, so the real action right now is in Norway, possibly Sweden if we go that route. But the key here is we can, in fact, get to Finland. And we can take this guy. If there was only roads, supply out there is nothing. Not sure how I do that. Okay, so I think we're... But the only thing is, is do we want to buy something with this money? Do we want to buy something with this money? Okay, so we know what this guy is. He retreated. And we know what these guys are. That's a mech. That's an armor unit. That's an infantry unit. Okay. We currently have one supply truck. Now we're gonna need more supply trucks. And we have zero landing ships. Love to be able to land behind him and take Tripoli if he moves out of there. So let's let's also buy some landing ships. For 10 guys. Let's purchase two. Purchase three. Okay, it takes 90 days, but if he decides he wants to leave Tripoli, 
You know, I could even invade Rome or Italy from behind. He's got nobody on these ports. I wonder if any of these things are beaches. Beach, yeah, that's a beach. That's plains. But that's a beach. So I could land here. I could land here. I could take that city. Uh, still don't know how supply works. Um, let's hide the units. Is that us? What's no? Supply, yeah. All right, so we're doing okay, I think. I think we're going to go ahead and hit the go turn. I, I don't know if that was worth leaving my entrenchments for. I have no idea. Um, but I left my entrenchments. I did some damage. I did lose some effectiveness, which I'll have to rebuild on those guys. He's still at 100. He is not. These guys will get some trucks next, as soon as I get some built. All right, we're done for this turn. Greg, it's your turn. You've been gaming with the Colonel. Please like, subscribe, come back early and often. Explain to me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, because I have no idea. For now, I'm out.